For this video, I'll be working through question three of the level three 2017 electricity exam. Question three. It is important that wood used in buildings does not have much water in it. Thomas uses parallel plate capacitor with the wood as a dielectric to measure the water content of the wood. Water has a higher dielectric constant than wood. One way to measure this water content in the wood is by using the circuit shown below. Thomas connects the circuit and makes the following measurements. That's the supply voltage, notice is in root meter squared, so that's the, I suppose, the average voltage. It's not really the average, but it's close enough. Um, that's a way to think about it anyway. The frequency is 151 hertz. The resistance of the resistor is 50 ohms. And the resist or the reactance of the capacitor, which is the fancy resistance of a capacitor, is 23.5 ohms. Calculate the peak voltage of the AC power supply. So that is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let us just go to our formula sheet, and it is where is it? There it is. Vmax equals root two vrms. So it is essentially V equals. Um, we'll just chuck 12 times root 2 which is going to give me 16.97 volts which is pretty much equal to 17.0 volts 3SF. Right, calculate that RMS current in the circuit. So first and foremost we've got voltage equals to the current times the impedance. The impedance is the resistance plus the reactance. So the react Inductors have reactants, um, capacitors, have re uh, capacitor capacitors have reactants, so capacitors reactants, Xc is equal to 1 over omega C, and then Xl, can we see that, for an inductor, I'm pretty sure off memory, is omega L, is it? it is 2. So what we're going to need to do is find out the impedance. So just a side note, assuming your, your resistor is here, Assuming we're starting at zero, here's our phasor diagram. Your, ooh, I need to figure which is, yes it is. This is your inductor, because it leads it leads the circuit. So when you first flick your, your switch to switch your circuit on, your inductor is, boom, here's voltage across him straight away, because he's instantly producing, he's instantly getting that change in current, so he's producing a back, EF, back EMF. Capacitors take forever to do anything, so they lag by 90 degrees. And R is just in phase with the circuit. That's just followers along. We'll just we'll think of it that way, but that's probably the easiest way. So your impedance is equal to the square root, because it's Pythagoras, you've got three triangles. You can add these vectors together. So you essentially just get one vector. We can forget about the, in the inductance of the reactor, uh, the reactance of the inductor, because we don't have it. Um, so we just got a triangle that looks like this, across R, up XC, XC, R, and this is our Z impedance. And we can find this phase angle as well, we can find out what the, the resistance or the, the angle of the impedance is, but let's just, we don't have to. So, simple, R squared plus XC squared, if you do that it gives you 55 point 247 ohms. I'm not rounding because I'm not at the answer yet. I'm trying to find the current is just VRMS because if, if you're finding the current RMS, your voltage has to be an RMS, divided by the impedance. 55.247 gives me 0 0.217 amps. Alright, next question. No, I'll stay up. Hold on. Right, explain what would happen to the circuit when the wood and the capacitor is replaced by a similar piece of wood that is wet. I'll turn over my... Right, so I'm going to write the answer and then I'll just discuss it.
Right, so what I've said is water has a higher dielectric content, uh, higher dielectric than wood. This would increase its capacitance uh, from the formula, the capacitance equals epsilon naught times the dielectric times the area divided by the distance. That is in your formula sheet. Uh, where is it? Somewhere in here, somewhere. Yeah, that is right here. So capacitance equals the permittivity of free space um, times the dielectric constant times the area divided by D. And dielectric constant, for water it's 80 off the top of my head, paper is 2.5, um, salt water is like 100 or something, well I don't actually know what salt water is, but different things have different di dielectric constants. Um, increase, this, uh, increase in capacitance would decrease um, in reactants from the formula, the reactance equals 1 over the angular frequency times the capacitance. Decreased reactance means a decrease in impedance from the formula we used over the page. Um, decreased impedance means an increase in current from Ohm's law, the fancy version of Ohm's law. Right, next question. An inductor is added in a series with the capacitor and resistor in the circuit. The reactance of the inductor is that 151 hertz and the reactance of the capacitor 23.5 at 151 at 151 hertz. Thomas adjusts the frequency until the current is maximum. Calculate the resonant frequency. So let's just put the formula for resonant frequency. F naught is equal to one over two pi square root L C. And this occurs when the uh, impedances are equal. So in other words, when the impedance of the capacitor is equal to the impedance of the react, uh, inductor, and then he adjusts it until this happens. All right, so our formula for impedance is for a capacitor is one over omega. C, oh well, it is. Oh, I'll put omega c, and then uh, for a capacitor, I mean for that's the capacitor for an inductor. It is just omega. That's x l. Omega L, so that's XL, that's XC. It's terribly messy, but just whatever. Just remember, Omega is two pi F. Yay! We've got the we've got the frequencies, and we've got the reactances. So we can work out the capacitance and the inductance are for the two components. So let's just work out L is going to be equal to what is L equal to? The reactance of L divided by two pi F, which gives me zero point. 03762 Henry's by the time I plug that in because I have that is XL up there and frequency is just 151. Um, what about C? C is going to be equal to 1 over because I've moved the C up and I've moved the XC down so it's going to be XC times 2 pi F again and that'll give me what will that give me? 4.485 times 10 to the negative 5 uh, was farads, F for farads, H for Henry's. Right, finally we're going to substitute in L into this formula here and C into this formula here and I get the frequency is equal to 122 hertz. I'm not going to spend the time doing my calculator because I've already done it. Right, explain why the maximum the current is maximum at the resonant frequency. So I'll write the answer first and then I'll just discuss it.
Right, so what I've said is at resonance, the reactance of the inductor and the capacitor are equal. So, like I had that phasor diagram over the page, where R, this is XC, that's XC, and that is XL. Because they're 180, 180 degrees out of phase, um, the reactance is cancelled, thus the total impedance of the circuit is just R. So when, they're, when it's at um, resonance, the reactance of the capacitor is equal to the reactance of the inductor. Thus, the total impedance of the circuit is just the resistance. Um, fancy version of I, uh, Ohm's law, I equals V over R, with the impedance just equal to the resistance. This is the lowest impedance value for the circuit, thus max current will flow.